हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी फेजेस ऑफ सिक्रीशन ऑफ गैस्ट्रिक जूस नाउ बिफोर दैट वी शुड नो दैट गैस्ट्रिक जूस सिक्रीशन इज मेंटेन्ड एट अ लो बेसल रेट इन द फास्टिंग स्टेट हाउ एवर गैस्ट्रिक जूस सिक्रीशन रीचेज इट्स मैक्सिमम मैक्सिमम लेवल इन अबाउट वन आवर आफ्टर द मील एंड देन अगेन इट डिक्लाइंस टू इट्स फास्टिंग लेवल इन अबाउट फोर आवर्स Now there are three phases of secretion of gastric juice: cephalic phase, gastric phase, and the intestinal phase. Now let's uh, first talk about the cephalic phase. Now during the cephalic phase, around thirty percent of total gastric juice secretion occurs. Sight, smell, taste, and the thought of food initiates this phase of gastric juice secretion. And here, gastric secretion occurs. before the food reaches the stomach now talking about the gastric phase during the gastric phase around 60% of total gastric juice secretion occurs now as the ingested food reaches the stomach uh, there is distension of stomach uh, the stomach wall stretches apart from this digested proteins in the food and increase in the ph of stomach initiates gastric phase of secretion of gastric juice so uh, gastric phase occurs when the food reaches the stomach now third phase is the intestinal phase now around 5 to 10% of total gastric juice is produced in this intestinal phase and this intestinal phase occurs when the chyme is passed into the duodenum from the stomach now we, here we should know what is chyme now chyme is a thick semi solid mass of partially digested food which is pushed from the stomach into the duodenum now initially duodenum enhances gastric secretion and then the duodenum inhibits gastric secretion that is how only 5 to 10% of gastric juice is produced in this phase now as soon as the chyme is passed from the stomach into the duodenum duodenum stimulates gastric secretion due to the presence of partially digested proteins in the chyme and due to the absorption of amino acids from the chyme but soon afterwards presence of acid and semi solid fats in the chyme inhibit gastric secretion while stimulating the secretion of pancreatic juice and the bile now very important to understand that these three phases they overlap and all the three phases of gastric secretion they can also occur simultaneously now uh, let's discuss each phase of uh, gastric juice secretion uh, individually now let's first talk about the cephalic phase or the uh, reflex phase now as discussed earlier around 30% of total gastric juice secretion occurs in this phase and the gastric secretion occurs before the food reaches the stomach now as discussed earlier sight smell taste or the thought of food are the sensory stimuli that are conveyed to the brain that is uh, to the central nervous system and these stimuli they reach the nucleus tractus solitarius and they activate the dorsal motor nucleus of the vagus and that causes stimulation of uh, vagus nerve that is the 10th uh, cranial parasympathetic nerve and stimulation of vagus nerve secretes acetylcholine and acetylcholine uh, stimulates the release of uh, gastric juice uh, during the cephalic phase of gastric juice secretion now acetylcholine binds to uh, muscarinic m3 receptors on the parietal cells and activate the parietal cells directly to release the gastric acid now apart from this acetylcholine also stimulates g cells to release gastrin and it also stimulates anterior chromaffin like cells to produce histamine now all these cells that is the g cells anterior chromaffin like cells uh, these are found to be present in the gastric glands now further gastrin stimulates 
uh, parietal cells directly by binding to CCK2 receptors uh, that is by binding to cholecystokinin 2 receptors on the parietal cells. Gastrin stimulates the parietal cells and stimulate release of uh, uh, acid. Apart from this, gastrin also stimulates anterochromaffin like cells to release a histamine. Now, once the histamine is released, it binds to its uh, uh, H2 receptors on the parietal cells, stimulates the parietal cells and release the acid. Thus, uh, all these secretagogues uh, that is acetylcholine, uh, gastrin and histamine stimulate the parietal cells either directly or indirectly and stimulate the release of acid. Now, apart from this, acetylcholine also uh, stimulates the chief cell and stimulation of chief cells uh, release uh, pepsinogen. Activated pepsinogen is termed as pepsin, which is a proteolytic enzyme uh, present in the gastric juice. Now, chief cells are also stimulated by gastric acidity and the chief cells are also stimulated uh, by the gastrin. So, this is how stimulation of uh, vagus nerve causes release of gastric juice during syphilic phase of uh, gastric juice secretion. Now, let us discuss the second phase of uh, gastric juice secretion that is a gastric phase. As discussed earlier about 60% of uh, gastric juice, 60% uh, of total gastric juice is produced during this phase. And this phase is initiated when the ingested food reaches the stomach. Now, food in the stomach causes dis distension of the stomach. There is stretching of the stomach wall that activate the stretch receptors. And this stimulates the uh, local enteric nervous system and it also stimulates the central vago vagal reflex. And these stimulations causes release of acetylcholine. Now, as discussed earlier, acetylcholine uh, stimulates uh, antral G cells to produce gastrin, it stimulates anterochromaffin like cells to produce histamine. Acetylcholine binds to uh, its uh, muscarinic M3 receptors present on the parietal cells and stimulate parietal cells to release acid. Gastrin binds to its uh, cholecystokinin 2 uh, that is CCK2 receptors on the parietal cells, stimulate parietal cells to release as uh, acid. Whereas a histamine binds to its uh, histi uh, histamine H2 receptors on the parietal cells and stimulate the release of uh, acid. Now, apart uh, from this, very important to note that uh, activation of central vago vagal reflex also uh, causes release of uh, gastrin reactive peptide which also stimulate antral G cells to produce gastrin. So, during the gastric phase, there is excessive production of gastrin. Now, as discussed earlier, uh, the chief cells are the cells uh, which are present in the gastric glands and these chief cells when stimulated, they produce pepsinogen. Now, gastrin, acetylcholine and the stomach acidity, they all stimulate the chief cells to produce pepsinogen. Pepsinogen is activated to pepsin and pepsin is a proteolytic enzyme that digests the proteins. Now, gastric acid and pepsinogen are the major components of gastric juice and this is how acetylcholine, gastrin and histamine, they regulate the gastric phase. The third phase is the intestinal phase. And as discussed earlier, around 5 to 10 percent of total gastric juice is produced in this phase. And this phase is initiated uh, when the partially digested food in the chyme is uh, pushed from the stomach to the duodenum. Uh, duodenum is the first pa part of small intestine. Now, initially, uh, duodenum stimulates the release of gastric uh, juice, but then uh, it inhibits the secretion of gastric juice. And thus, only very small amount of gastric juice is produced in this phase. Now, initially when the chyme is pushed in the duodenum, partially digested proteins in the chyme, they stimulate intestinal G cells to release gastrin. There is stimulation of intestinal endocrine cells to secrete another hormone that is the anteroxantin. 
both gastrin and antioxidant stimulate parietal cells to release gastric acid apart from this absorbed amino acids from the chyme also stimulate parietal cells and this is how uh, uh, there is uh, only 5 to 10% of gastric juice is produced during the intestinal phase now as just discussed uh, duodenum initially stimulates the secretion of uh, gastric juice and then inhibits the secretion of gastric juice now let's understand the duodenal inhibition uh, acid and uh, semi digested fats in the chyme uh, they trigger an anterogastric reflex and thus uh, the duodenum sends inhibitory signals to the local enteric nervous system and uh, medulla so inhibitory signals are sent send uh, are sent locally to enteric nervous system and they are also sent Uh, centrally to the medulla and this inhibits uh, vagal stimulation of stomach very important to understand that inhibition of vagal stimulation inhibits the release of acetylcholine uh, this these inhibitory signals they stimulate uh, sympathetic nervous system again very important to note that uh, stimulation of a uh, sympathetic nervous system also reduces the release of acetylcholine uh, so inhibition of vagal stimulation and stimulation of uh, sympathetic nervous system they both inhibit the parietal cells and inhibition of parietal cells reduces the secretion of gastric juice on the other hand uh, chyme also stimulates uh, duodenal Uh, anti-endocrine cells, uh, the eye cells, they produce a hormone that is a cholecystokinin, whereas the intestinal S cells they produce secretin. Now these uh, here, uh, these two hormones they increase the release of uh, pancreatic juice, they increase the release of bile, but they suppress the secretion of uh, uh, gastric juice and they also suppress the gastric motility and thus overall uh, the gastric secretion declines so this is all about phases of secretion of gastric juice if you find the video useful kindly like subscribe and share this video thanks for watching this video